truck 2323 again I'm going I'm gonna go over some of my new theory if you looked at the video already you've seen the issues and problems I was having with my uh, airlift water pump uh, I do I actually went to go buy this I didn't have this or these these damn things are expensive the end caps for it you like six or seven bucks each uh, you get a 10 foot pipe it's cheaper if you get 10 foot I got uh, five foot because it wouldn't fit in my car but my theory is uh, I've seen somebody else make sort of the kind of pump that I'm making. They use a uh, cap of this, part of this, and they arched this all along the bottom. They arched all along the bottom, and they ran their half inch pipe in through here, and uh, half inch for the air. Okay, but the thing is with all those loops on the bottom, I still have the problem for one of the weight not holding it down because this is going to be stationary. It's going to be in place. I'm going to need weight to hold it down. And two, it's still sitting on the bottom where I don't want it to tear. So hence, I got the bottom part because I'm going to make it like a, actually about the size of a football. And then I got another tool here that I got from the outside. It's a brick I, I put down that this is going to be actually glued together on the inside of it to keep the weight down because with the half inch with the air kept filling in it would try to go up and then when it burp it would go down or try to go up so this right here is actually going to be at the bottom of the half inch pipe and it's going to be with a, to the regular door drill I'm going to drill all the way around the half inch pipe if you need to learn how to work with PVC I got a video up also learn how to learn how to work with PVC because you are going to need the two uh, the cement and the, the cleaner and the cement and also for half inch I think this goes up to one and five eighth inch right here but these are the best things they're just clicker and they cut through this beautifully of course it's not going to work through this with this right here we're going to cut with a hacksaw so my theory is what I'm going to do with this is like I said this is going to be uh, about the size of a football here this right here is I think two and an eighth yeah, two and an eighth. I'm going to drill through the top of this. Now, I don't have a small enough one for the uh, inch and a half pipe, but this is big enough for the coupling because I'm going to go on the inside of this with inch and a half pipe. And I'm going to put a, it has to have a coupling to go down to half inch. So inside of the pipe, it's going to go down to half inch right here. And the half inch is going to connect to this out to where I need it to go bottom part is going to be on and I'm going to have holes drilled completely around this with the weight in the bottom now from this is going to be inside of here and then actually I'm just going to drill with the 7 8 inch pipe through the side of this and through the side of this so this is going to go in here this is going here I am going to use some some plumbing cement I know that's not the proper way to do but it's going to be snug enough where I shouldn't get any air leaks and then out the side of here I'm going to have a male end so I can go ahead and hook up my airline. So my airline is going to come through here and actually be in the inch and a half in the bottom part of it where the air bubbles are going to go. But it's going to go down a half inch. Now the inch and a half wouldn't lift it all the way out. I'm hoping with just a little spot with the water in here that it's going to be able to shoot a little bit more volume through the half inch pipe. So as I'm going step by step to get together, I'll take some pictures and then hopefully in the final end we see some water moving. Alright, thank you. Bye bye. And Bob's your uncle. And Bob's your uncle. There you have it. My airlift water pump. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'll let you know how everything goes. Uh, I changed it. I got this valve on here because I told you I got a lot of PVC stuff left around all the time. I had no female ends to tie the air inlet to. I had no female ends. I couldn't find any around. I was already here making it. So I did as I put a male end into it. 
and then I had an extra ball valve right here, a PVC ball valve, and then I put the fitting into the ball valve. I used Teflon tape on everything. Uh, this right here is a drill. You want to do everything perfect, you could go ahead and put the T onto it with everything else. This is what stuff that I had left around, all except for the bigger pieces here. I drilled into, I got uh, the PVC cement and the, uh, the cleaner and everything into here and I just barely I had to use a file to file it down to get this barely to fit I actually think that's a pretty good seal right there uh, but I'll probably put a uh, silicone around it just 100% silicone let it dry before I actually try to use it uh, this right here goes into the inch and a half pipe that's inside of here that's one thing that I really couldn't seal too good so I did put a lot of PVC cement in it when I put them together and I let it sit there for a while I'm gonna sit there a little bit longer but if it does leak, this is the one that I want sealed because if it does leak, the half an inch and a half pipe is inside of this tank. Little extra thing I did, I didn't drill any holes in the bottom. I know people say, well, you want the sediment all the way off the bottom. I didn't want any uh, jagged parts in there because I didn't want to any puncture or put any marks in the pond liner. So I did do the holes, two, uh, two and one eighth inch holes around here. But then when I had my 7th H in, uh, in anyways, I just went all the way around here. There's going to be enough water. Now water's like air. You know, if you try to seal uh, a water air leak, I mean, and, uh, or a water leak or an air leak, it just gets through there some way, somehow. So I'm, I'm believing that these, this is going to be enough holes in the bottom. My whole thing is I was actually being able to shoot the water up about, uh, it had to be about 5 feet, 4 to 5 feet. The water with the half inch pipe was shooting up. Although the, the air in the pipe, just just at the bottom, for one, the pipe would sit kind of wherever you would have it at or lean. And then when it fill up with air, it would come up and then shoot down. Come up and then shoot down after it would burp the water up. So I put this in because I'm going to sink this all the way to the bottom. I might put the brick, a brick around it. It should sit pretty good though where I'm going to have it. Uh, like I said, I didn't want this sticking that far out. This was only supposed to be right here. This is kind of what I had at the house right now. So this is what I used. And I did put a brick in there to wait so I don't have to worry about it sitting up. Uh, I'm going to have, uh, this is going to be more or less to the, to the back side of my pond. So it might even just be able to lean up against the wall. But this is so high up in here. The inch and a quarter pipe is about probably right up to here. And this is so high up in here because when I previously did it with the pipe, I put it in at the bottom thinking it's going to get more pressure. And you would think bubbles would just shoot straight up, but they would actually come out the bottom also. So I put put up a little bit higher on the other pipe, and it still had a little bit coming out the bottom. So I put it up, you know, this is about the, the distance I had it last time. And it will shoot most of it. Every now and then when it would burp, some would come out the bottom. So what I'm hoping with this is when it burped, it actually still catches the water on the inch and a half pipe in here. Because it's going down to a half inch pipe. Well, all I got to do is put the silicone on it, and then when I try it, I'm going to go ahead, actually vacuum up all over here. Probably won't be done today, I'll tell you the truth. But, uh, and then silicone it, I want to make sure I'm not getting any air leaks right here or right here. And then when I put it on, I'll show you what's going on. Alright, bye. Thank you.